Hello, welcome back. Mama Bean, come here. Come here, little llama. Say hi, llama. Good llama. Llama Bean, what do you want to do today? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, llama. Llama, what even is that? Guys, Llama Bean wants me to Google something right now. Like, <laughs> what, do you, what do you want, little llama? Llama Bean. Guys, Llama Bean wants to make a medieval weapon out of push pops. Can we even do that, Llama Bean? Like, look, Llama Bean made me Google the Morning Star weapon. What even is this weapon? This is what it looks like. Wow, that looks crazy. So, the Morning Star is part of medieval weapons. What exactly is a medieval weapon? A medieval weapon is weapons that people back, it dates all the way back to the 14th century. This, these are stuff that people used to defend themselves. They didn't have push pops back in the day. They didn't have pepper sprays. They didn't, guns weren't super, super popular. What people used to defend themselves was stuff like a morning star. People, you know, if someone's attacking you, they take this thing and pow! So today, me and Llama Bean are gonna make the crazy medieval morning star weapon. Wow, I, I don't know. I was expecting Llama Bean to say, hey, can we make the push pop 14,000 or 15,000 because last time we made the 13,000, so, you know. Lana Bean caught me off guard. She wants to make medieval weapons now. So right now, we're gonna head out. We're gonna go get the materials to make the Morning Star. So you're gonna need a few different things to make the Morning Star. You're gonna need a pipe. Remember that time we made the Push Pop 12,000? We had a pipe. Well, you're gonna go need a pipe again. So you're gonna need to go to your local Lowe's or local Home Depots. Whatever you like better to get some pipe. Pipe really isn't that expensive. I think I paid like a dollar, like 60 for my last pipe. And then you're gonna wanna go to your local Walmart. You're gonna need duct tape, uh, choose a cute color. And then you're also gonna need a foam ball because at the end of the stick, cause it's gonna be the pipe, you know, like for the morning star to hold on to it. And then you're gonna need the foam ball. The foam ball is what the push pops are gonna go on. You're gonna take the foam ball, you're gonna tape the push pops on it, and then you're gonna tape the foam ball to the pipe. So then you have this crazy, looking medieval weapon. Is that what you want, little llama? Yeah! So let's go, llama. Let's go make this medieval weapon. Yeah! Sadly, today we don't have our cameraman, Troy's not with us, so it's gonna be a little bit hard for me to make this weapon because I'm so used to having someone hold the camera and also hold, you know, the stuff together when I'm taping it, so llama, will you be our camera person? Please, llama! Here, try holding the camera. Oh, is it too heavy for you, little llama? Oh, dang it! Way too heavy for little llamas. I'm just gonna have to try to do this by myself. It's okay, Llama Bean. At least you tried. Um, yeah, let's continue this journey. Let's do this thing! I've just made it to the local Walmart. Okay, so this is some really sad times because online it said that their phone balls were in stock. And of course, they're out. Probably just gonna have to go to Michael's for that. But at least I got some duct tape. I chose pink. I really like pink. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna have to head to Michael's right now. We just made it to Michael's. Hopefully they have the foam ball. I'm literally so happy right now because Walmart let me down. But look at this. It's like the size of my head. Almost. My head's a little bit bigger, but... Oop! Look how many types they have compared to Walmart. Okay, so the size that you need... This one's a little bit too small. You can't really fit too many push pops on there. Um, this one <laughs> is really big. This one looks like the perfect size for what we need. So get something like this. Make sure you get a big enough one where you can put the push pops on it. Me and Llama just made it to Lowe's. See, we are right over here. Hopefully Lowe's isn't like Walmart and they actually have the stuff we need. I'm about to go in there right now and show you the exact pipe that you need to get to make this crazy medieval weapon. Are you ready, Llama? Let's go! If you go to Lowe's, you will see all these different types of pipes, right? You don't need something like this. You really don't need something that big or even like that one. That one's like way too like round. What you need is right over here, something about this size. Really cheap, guys. See, look at the price. Very affordable, just like this. Guys, I have got to say, your girl lives in Florida. It is literally 95 degrees. 
and I'm burning up in here. Me and Lama are burning our <laughs> little lives. Look, Lama Bean's already loving our supplies for the medieval weapon. Lama, that's not a toy. It's okay, Lama. You can play with it for now, but <laughs> you don't want to be sitting on it like that later because it's going to have spikes on it. So right now, me and Lama are going to go home and we're going to make this medieval weapon. Let's do this thing! Me and Lama Bean just got back to my room. I laid out all of the supplies that we got. Again, there's the duct tape. We got the foam ball, the pipe right there. Oh, and look, little self! Say hi, self! Oh, and then there's me. Hello! And of course, right here, I already have five pre-made push-pop weapons. Llama, do you know the first step in making a push-pop weapon? Yeah! Okay, so, the first step is you want to twist it like this, then you pull. This comes off just like that. There's a little tab thing at the top. You want to take the entire wrapper off because we're going to be wrapping these in duct tape. Now what you need to do from here is you need to take it and lick it until it gets super, super sharp. As you can see, I'm almost done making this weapon. It's almost there, just a couple more licks. You really want to get it as sharp as you can. I think it's ready to go. You always want to test it on your leg to make sure it's sharp enough. Or you can test it on somebody else's. Llama, get over here little llama. Can I test it on your leg? Okay, llama bean says it's okay if I test it on her leg. Are you ready llama? Woo, how was it? <laughs> Good, all right, so look how sharp this is. Next step is gather all of your weapons. I have all of them right here, two pink, two reds, and two blues. Let's lay them out. Oh, that one's green. Here we have all six of our weapons. As you can see, this one's a little short. That is because that push pup had a really deep hole in it. And the best way to avoid it is you just have to bite down on it a little bit to get rid of it. But I think they look pretty good. I thought this one was red, but actually it was green as watermelon, but they both have the same package, so. I thought they were red. After you have all of your weapons laid out to make sure they're all sharp, the next thing you want to do is close them up gently because you don't want them to break. Next thing you want to do is you want to take your duct tape. You want to take something about this size and you want to wrap the duct tape around this like so. This is just for color reasons, so when we have our medieval weapon, it looks very nice. Do that to all of the push pops. I just got done taping all of my push pops. Now I'm going to take the foam ball and I'm going to wrap this in duct tape. Oh, it doesn't smell so good. Oh, this is messy. I'm going to wrap. I think I have some in my mouth. Oh, it's all over me. Dang it, llama. I'm going to gently wrap this in duct tape. Llama, will you hold this for me? Okay. So I just wrapped this entire thing in duct tape. I forgot to press record so I didn't get anything on film. Sad little llama, I know. But it kind of looks like a ball, doesn't it? It's kind of cool. It feels really nice. It's very light. This ball is really messy though, this foam ball. I have all these crusties all over me now and I don't like crusties because mama raised a clean bean. Anyways, the next step, oh this is really fun. <laughs> okay, the next step in doing the medieval weapon is you wanna take your pipe. This is where the pipe comes in. And you wanna wrap this in duct tape too. You guys can get different colors of duct tape too. It doesn't matter, you don't have to get the colors I get. So a quick way to wrap the pipe is to start on this end, you don't need to like rip this off like in, into pieces, you just wrap it around, kind of like with the ball. The ball, you just put the duct tape on the ball and you just wrap the thing around instead of cutting off pieces. I learned that it's very much easier if you do that. You really want to pull it tight too. Stay 
stay focused. Almost there, folks. Just like that. Now that we have the stick all wrapped up too, you want to attach the ball to the stick. Now, this is probably going to be the hardest part for me because I don't have anybody to here to hold this. So, Llama Dean making an appearance. But look how cozy that a Sof looks. Sof, would you like to hold the ball while I put on the tape? Yeah? No, you just want to lay in your fluff? Okay, Sof. You look really tired. It's okay. very wobbly but I just need it to stick for a second so it can let me do my thing I'm gonna have another piece of tape running like this but let me just get another one on this side to hold it a little bit better stay focused believe you can and you're halfway there folks I'm serious you can do this as you can see we have attached it it's kind of wobbly as you can see so you really want some tape going like this too and like that so we're going to do that right now Whew. i feel the pressure now that was not long enough but it's okay we try again like this is this good llama yeah i'm a burrito yeah it tight. Bring it around town. Bring it around town. A few more pieces around this to make sure it's secure. One right here, maybe like this. Okay, so now that you got this nice and secure, see? This thing's not going nowhere. Here, try that little um. Yeah! Tape the push pops on around the ball. Anywhere you like, you can put on as many as you like. So I'm definitely going to put one right at the top. I think I'm going to do pink. So what you want to do next, place it here, take the tape, wrap it around it. Let's do this thing! This is why I said you probably need two duct tape rolls because this one's about to end. Now just place it around here where you like. And I would add another piece just to be safe. This is what we have so far. How does it look? Let's do blue next. I should rip out duct tape pieces so I don't have to keep doing this. <laughs> now let's do this one. This red one. Where should we place this one little lamb? You choose. Of course she has to sniff it. Okay, llama. We put it right there. Okay. Let's add another pink. All we have is two more to go. We did it, folks! Look at this. This looks crazy! Guys, just check out this weapon. Llama! This was Llama's idea. Now let's just take them off. Are you excited, Llama? Pow, pow. Pow. Woo! They just keep getting crazier and crazier, all because of our crazy little llamas. So, let's hypothetically say you're in the parking lot at night, right? You're all alone. A creep starts talking to you, right? You're like, no, thank you. And he's like, oh, please. And you're just like, um, no, thank you. And then you know what happens? He keeps bothering you and then he wants to kidnap you. So you take out this and you're just like, you don't want to mess with me, man. Isn't that right, llama? Little llama cannot wait to use this. These are just for fun. Um, you don't actually use these. 
but unless someone's legitimately attacking you, that would be okay. But don't just because you don't like someone. If they're attacking you, that's okay. If someone's just, you don't like someone, no. You have to have a reason to use these. Just look at it. So crazy. Like, all of these ideas are from crazy little llama bean. Llama, you're so crazy. Wow. Just look at this, guys. This is crazy. Look how sharp. It's just like, okay, so I'm walking along. The creep tries to attack me. I'm just like, no! No! Or like, I'm at the gas station like the other day. If you see this TikTok when the creep tries to steal your little llama, like, um, no thank you. And it's like, pow! You can't have my little llamas. And the llama bean hops in like this, and she's like, pow! You can't steal me. And then they go away. And that's when you're like, thank you so much. I'm actually amazed by this morning star. That's what it's called. It's called the morning star. Let's just look at what the photo is of the medieval weapon and just compare it to this. So this is the medieval weapon. That's what we were going for. And this is what we did. We came up with this without a push pops. You really need to be careful these days because there's literally creeps in the parking lot. Like I'm not even kidding. Like last week, this crazy creep legitimately came up to us in the car, me and Troy, when we're just chilling there watching our Pawn Stars, I was drinking my Slurpee, and this random creep starts coming up and cussing at us, and I was like, I had the Push Pop 13,000 in the back seat, and I was like, oh my gosh, like, I was literally scared, and then I was like, oh, the Push Pop 13,000, we didn't have to use it, um, we just called the cops, thankfully the cops arrested him, I have a video of it, I was just like, if this dude actually tries to attack us, I'll be like, I would whip out my Push Pop 13,000, like the one that looks like a hula hoop, if you don't know. He would have not have liked that. I'm serious. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. What is your favorite weapon that I've made so far? Leave a comment down below. Also, if you have any suggestions on any weapon you want me to make, leave a comment. DM me on Instagram. I'm always down for new weapons and ideas. If you give me a really good weapon idea, I will mention your name in the next YouTube video or whatever videos if I ever make it. I love you guys so much. Say bye, llama. Oh, and Soph, say bye. Soph, look, it's so cute. Bye. Soph.